My first impression, I thought to myself, how will I get in there? In fact, it's very easy. First you pass one leg, then your head, and you're in. The spaceship has no secret for him. Romain has been training for four months for a very special mission. This French engineer has been chosen from among 6,000 candidates to take part in a trip to Mars. Well, almost. Here are the bedrooms. There are six of them. The first one is the largest, it's the commander's room. And this is a typical room. Only three meters square. The beds are narrower than regular beds, 60 centimeters large. Spartan accommodations, to say the least. Romain will be locked in here with five other volunteers for 520 days, one year and a half. That is the estimated time for a round trip to the Red Planet. But there won't be any actual blast off. Everything happens right here at the Center for Biomedical Studies in Moscow. Romain will be very busy during his trip. His days will be filled with scientific tests, about a hundred in total. For example, here, with the help of this cap fitted with electrodes, he will measure how doing sports affects his mood. The goal of Mars 500 is to study the physical and psychological effects of long-lasting isolation on the volunteers. I knew since the very beginning that I would be a guinea pig for a year and a half. but. Hey, you know it's my job now. And a real one too, under constant supervision. Just like in a scientific version of Big Brother, Romain and his teammates will be filmed 24-7 by 40 cameras. We can see one on the ceiling right here. They will be watched, but completely isolated, in conditions as close as possible to space travel. The difference between a trip to Mars and an orbital spaceflight is that it's impossible to come back to Earth quickly. That's why the crew has to be completely autonomous. The flight there should last 250 days. Then one of the modules will break away and land on the surface of Mars before returning to Earth. The trip home will take at least 240 days. But such a journey is not forecast to be technically feasible for at least 20 more years. In the meantime, a fake planetary surface has been recreated for the experiment. Romain cannot wait to board, yet he has some concerns. The fact that we won't see sunshine for 520 days, that should be hard. And being away from my family, these are the major difficulties that will affect us the most. An ordeal for a great cause. Future astronauts who may one day walk on Mars would do well to remember these brave earthbound pioneers.